hello. So I know it has been a very long time since I've done a video. Um, July has been such a rough, a rough month on me. Um, between so many different areas of my life, but we are getting set up right now. I'm going to. All right. I don't use incense. I don't like the smells of those. Those choke me. I have asthma. So I'm going to use something significant to me. And what is that, babes? That is pumpkin spice. Okay. Now, I, it's a seasonal thing, so I buy them out every time I see them. All right. So we have two different incense. Now, I'm going to have another little table right next to me, right here. And I'm going to have them sitting here. Everything is connected by this. Okay, so we got two of them going. We're gonna light this one and keep that on the table. Once again, pumpkin spice. This is an actual candle though. All right. Good? All right. So. Move these over. Move my table a little closer. I do not know what we're doing today. We're just going to do it. We're going to go with the flow. All right. So I wanted to go on um, Fridays. I will be going live and answering your questions. I will not be doing the, um, the Zodiac signs on Friday. I think I'm going to do those individually for you guys. Okay. So this, these cards here I use for, for readings. Um, like... These cards are to see inside, um, what does it say? Keys of Secret Societies, okay? To look inside the Keys of Secret Societies. So, <clears throat> we're not going to use these today. I have a couple more different um, sets of cards coming for you guys. Okay, these I use for the Zodiacs. And these... I think if we're going to do pick a card, okay? So here we go. Sorry, like again, I, I'm so sorry. It's just I've been on this new medication to help me with my breast milk. I've been struggling to keep breast milk going for my baby. And this, <laughs> the child, I don't know if you guys could see that. <laughs> it says the child. Yes, the child. I'm, I've been really dedicated to keep breastfeeding although she's not taking the breast anymore um she, because of these doctors and they just again the child <laughs> you know i mean I'm, I'm still dedicated i'm still very dedicated to doing it for her and this medication is really the side effects are horrible so and then we had our AC unit down for about three to four days, and then they had to come rip our wall out and put it back and add new piping. So it was a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. But I just know that, again, the child. <laughs> I just know that um, August has so much more in store for us, you know. It has so much more. I do want to apologize before I get started. I had a whole month of um yeah appointments to do for people and i had to cancel half of them so if i canceled your appointment please just contact me in my email k-a-n-d-i-s-285 and i'm going to give you my phone number and then um i'll give you a set time of basically like from this time to this time. It's usually 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. And then just call me. Tell me. Let me know um, either if you are uh, a join member. Because I give the join members um, free readings, basically. It's not really free because, you know, you guys are paying to be a member. But I give you guys a reading. And then also if I had to reschedule you because um, for the paying customers. So, you know... I just want to apologize. That's not how I do business. I've never really ever done that before, like canceling appointments and stuff like that. And like I said, it's just been a very, very, very rough week. 
a month. I'm sorry. It's been a rough month. All right. So I do use the book for this and my intuition and as well as my intuition and the book for these. Okay. So just going to, I like to have reverse cards in it. So this is why I shuffle like this. Okay. Because not everything's always positive in our lives, you know, like me, <clears throat> I'm just going through it. And I couldn't get out of it. It was like a stagnant water that I was stuck in. And it's not my fault, but, you know, it's the choices I've been making. My choices are to keep my baby's breast milk going and keeping that bond with her. And because of my choices, you know, it had reactions and consequences, you know. Um, I had a migraine for almost four days straight, you know. Then it was stomach issues with the pill. Then it was just straight cloud. I was in a cloud with my head and... It was just so much. So now, <clears throat> enough babbling, right? Because that was what? Six minutes of babbling. Okay. Don't worry. I'm going to give you time stamps, guys, so you can skip all this. I want you guys to do me a favor as I set this up, okay? I want you to take three deep breaths with me, okay? We're going to go. Let's envision all your negative energy going away from you. Take another one. When you exhale, blow away the negative energy. Now this one we're going to inhale and just hold for three seconds. And blow that bad energy away. All right. Now, just stay in a calm place. No worries, no fears. Good. Now with that... Envision you at a beach. Just envision the beach, okay? The sand, the heat, no shade, the water, the sounds of the water. And breathe. Now, envision you walking on the beach. And you can see something right up ahead. But you're not sure what it is. Get closer. Envision all the noises around you. The children playing, yelling, screaming, the water. You're getting closer to this object. And you see it. You know what it is now. It's a big seashell. It's a, one of those real big seashells. And you grab it. And you can smell the ocean on it. Just relax. Stay in the moment. All right. With that being said, I need you to pick one, two, one, Two, three, four, five, or six, okay? We're going to start off with one. All right. We got dancing gifts in hand. With knowledge. So I just see you guys having a really fun time. I see that you're doing your part to gain your knowledge. Well, it's upside down. So maybe you're not doing everything you need to do, but you are attempting to keep your knowledge flowing. Because what you don't use, you lose. Okay? I do see dancing. So I see lots of fun. You guys are, are, I see gifts upside down, but I don't feel like it's in a bad way. I feel like you're a giving person, okay? 
and then I see the hand reaching out. Friendships, friendships. So yeah, I see you're, you're a, a really loving person, having fun. You're a giving person, and you're giving to your friends, or you're gonna have new friendships. I see you, you had a lot of hurt in your life. And it may have caused you to have nightmares. But with this, you're, you're overcoming it. You, you're okay now. You're okay. You had a troubling past, but you're okay. And if you're not okay, you're going to be okay. Yeah. Relationship-wise, I feel like somebody hurt you. And that made you really get to know yourself. You took the time to get to know yourself. And because you took the time, this is you climbing. I don't know if you can see that. But you're climbing upstairs to get to know yourself, okay? And because you got to know yourself, now you have knowledge. Okay. I feel like somebody from your past is missing you. The people on the ship leaving. Then you have a masquerade. I feel like they caused a lot of drama in your life. And now they realize with the waterfall that you were their serenity, their peace, their calm, their water. Like, I love water. It just calms me down. That's what you were to them. That's what you were to them. Yeah. Oh. Either they have tattoos or you have tattoos. I see you celebrating. I even see marriage. I see marriage in your in your in your future or in your past. Um, but before the marriage, I see a lot of brokenness. A lot of brokenness. And maybe you acted out by getting tattoos or they acted out by getting tattoos. But somebody definitely got tattoos. Pretty ones. This one's showing a dragon. That's not per se. That's what you have. But yeah, this one's just showing a guy tattooing a, a dragon. Um, I see a celebration. People at the table with wine, and then I see marriage. So yeah, you guys are going to have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful August, I swear. And if it's not even for August, this could, this don't have to be for August. This can be for right this second. This could be for tomorrow. This could be for, for a whole week. This could be for the whole year. It's whenever you're finished with the card is when you're finished with the card. There's no proper place. All right, so that was number one. Let's go to number two. <clears throat> Excuse me. Faith. All right, number two, faith. <laughs> Whew, all right. Okay. All right, I see you guys were... More on the move, like on a bridge. You were like, ah, I don't know what's going on here, but we got to keep going, okay? Then I feel like there were some people in your life that were portraying themselves like actors. They were saying they're one thing, but they're really another, okay? And then you got children. Lots of children in your life. Whether they're yours or not, there's still children in your life. Or it could be just the adolescence of it, of the actors, that meaning their their adolescence. But it definitely says children, not adolescence. Then we have the tree. Reading. And astonishment. Okay. So I feel like you have a lot of growing. You've grown a lot, but you still have a lot more to go. Um, and because you're growing, 
you're searching, you're reading, you're getting information. This could be about your faith. This could definitely be about your faith. That you're trying to read up more on different um, things. Not just staying in the box with one thing. You're trying to search. And when you're searching, you're going to be astonished. Look, astonishment. You're going to be astonished of what you find. I think this has to do with your faith, guys. All right. We got art. Flirting. And the temple. Okay. So, I think with your faith, with the faith card here, you're going to discover art. Um, many different forms of art. This is an art. Okay. Um, painting is an art. Um, makeup is an art. Okay. So, you're going to discover art. And I think you might even find a relationship. I'm not sure if it's a good one because it's in reverse. But you're going to find a relationship through this art. But because of this, I think it's gonna—it's not going to be 100% good for you. But it might be a good lesson for you. You're going to end up with the temple card and the faith card. Okay? The temple is more like, like a sanctuary. Okay? Um, and I just feel like a lot of faith and new... Where is it? Not this card, not this card. A lot of growing. A lot of growing with this temple card, okay? The car. Okay, yeah. So you are going to meet somebody. Um, I see you guys having fun driving. Just having fun. Driving in the wind. Um, happy times, lots of happy times. Now, it is in reverse. And I see celebrating. Do not drink too much. Don't drink too much, okay? This is what I'm just feeling. Don't drink too much. Um, and then you got the adolescence card. See the difference of the children card and the adolescence card. Um, this is in reverse. So I just feel like, you know, just be a little cautious, but don't. Don't, don't push it away at all. You know, just don't all the way, you know. Just be cautious of what you're doing. Especially with drinking, please. Because, you know, I got the car here and then I got drinking upside down. And I don't want nothing to happen. So let's all just be cautious, okay? Alright, so we got the train. That's travel. Nudity. Uh-oh. <laughs> and sand. Okay, so I just feel like you're going to travel somewhere with sand. And you're going to just, oh my God, our envision of the beach, remember, in the beginning. And I just feel like you're going to just really take to it like um, oh, natural, nature, all that. Just serenity, just soaking it in, becoming one with the earth, okay? So let's keep your faith alive. Don't push any relationships or all relationships away, okay? Keep them Keep a relationship. It's good to have relationships. Number three. Integrity. And it's upright. That's great. Alright, we got home, fire, and clock. Alright, so with this, the home is upside down. And then we got the fire card next to it with the ticking talk. The ticking talk. Ticking clock. <laughs> so I'm not necessarily this is going to be a fire. No, but you might have a little trouble within your home. Okay? Yeah, because this person is seeing their house being uprooted. So I don't know if you're going to move. Or just something really upsetting is going on in your household. Alright? If you're having trouble in your household, do not... Bring it into the streets. Don't let other people see it where they're starting to point at you and talk about you. Keep whatever's going on in your household in your household. Um, and I think you should be all right. And with the clock, it's just like it's a matter of time. You know, so maybe you're not in the best relationship and you need to use your integrity. I'm also seeing sculpting. Constructing and insects. Okay, so I see art. I see lots of art. Insects don't really have to be insects, you know, but it's just a form of life. 
I see lots of art. You guys are artistic. Some some type of way you're very artistic. playing fortune teller okay so you have you have your own abilities you have psychic abilities i don't like saying psychic abilities but you have your own intuition you have a very good empath you you're a, you're an empath you can feel people's emotions you love to play and it shows you fishing again your love of human nature you're it's, it's like animals. You love animals, bugs. It don't matter what it is. You feel like everything has a chance, like deserves to be here. for. If they're here for a reason, even a fish. Even a fish. I wonder if you guys are Pisces. <laughs> music. You love music. You're going to have a lot of blessings. You're going to be blessed with money as well. And you're going to be giving of that. So somebody's going to bless you, but you're going to bless somebody else as well. And that just goes with the integrity. That really does. Beautiful. All right. Number four. The maiden. Okay. The mountain. Harley Quinn. And sweets. All right. So I feel like you, 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 you've done what you had to do. You had, you had, you had a mountain to overcome, but you did it. And you're beautiful. You have a beautiful soul. You overcame that mountain. It was a struggle, but you did it. And now you're enjoying the sweets of life. Okay. Excuse me. If you're not, you're going to. Keep your head up. You're nurturing. You're nourishing. You're nurturing. I see somebody trying to benefit from you. Like off of you. And you got to push that, that negative energy into your attic. Do not let that consume you. Do what you have to do for you. Because you're so nurturing... I see you nurturing here. I see you nurturing here. You're just a really giving soul. Don't be taken advantage of, okay? Don't don't let nobody take advantage of you. The moon. Riding. Honest. Okay, so I see you. You can really truly just ride into the moonlight and, and be honored. You 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 overcame whatever you had to. You did it. You did it. And you're you're being blessed for this. And if you're not being blessed right now, you're going to be blessed for it. And you could just ride off into the moonlight. You really can. The moon. Sorry. But like I said before, yep. Don't let people take advantage of you. Okay? If you do, it's going to rain down and you'll be eaten, okay? Literally. Again, I see you being nourishing, growing plants, watering the plants, fishing again. So that just brings me back to the, you're helping others as well. You're helping others. But with you helping others, have boundaries, okay? Have have some boundaries. Don't let them walk all over you. I don't want you, you know. All right. Keys, monks, garden. All right, so. Religion. Maybe not be religion, but you know, you're, you're, you are spiritual. You're spiritual. And you have all the keys you need. And you're, you, you are a very nature person. This is made out of rocks and trees, but it forms a, a woman's face, okay? You, you're spiritual. You have the keys to do what you need to do within that spirituality. You have gifts. And you know how to use the earth, wind, fire, and air 
to to help you, kind of like the law of attraction, okay? I do think you should see a doctor, okay? And I don't know if this is now or later or in the past, but somebody is not being, somebody is using you for their own personal gain. Let me just put it that way, okay? But if that show, make sure you see a doctor, okay? All right. My nurturing souls. <laughs> All right, five. The child. Birds, telephone, merchants. All right. So you have a spending problem. <laughs> Who doesn't? You know, um, you're always talking to somebody. It's so cute. <laughs> you're always chatting. You're always chatting. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You're always chatting. You like to spend money. You like to buy clothes. You like to buy jewelry, <laughs> hair accessories. Okay, now. All right, you have some amazing dreams. You have amazing dreams. But if you don't stay focused, your dreams and goals can be hindered, okay? So make sure you, you really stay focused. Because your dreams can come to can come to light. The, ooh, your dreams are amazing. And they're good ones. Hi, cat. All right. Oh, possibly you love to write, but when you write, you get, you get nodded and you have a hard time with authority. You don't like people telling you what to do. So maybe you're an entrepreneur. You like to work for yourself. You, you get twisted and tied when people try to tell you what to do, the authority. Which, you know, it is childlike, but, you know, I even have that issue. I don't like people telling me what to do, you know, so. Number six. You have love. You have the love card. All right. Okay, so this is another, you have a love for animals. I see the billy goat, I see cats. I see nature, the snow. I see you having a love for everything as well. I see you meditating within yourself. You're trying to seek who you are. Who you are is love. Who you are is love, okay? The wind picked up somehow. Cat, I'm almost done, baby. I see you taking a, a leap of faith. And that might bring you into an engagement. Yeah, I see possibly an engagement. It might be to a man, but it also might be to yourself, okay? Because of this leap of faith. You're taking a chance with yourself. You're doing something out of the ordinary for yourself. Okay. Listen. It's okay. If things get rough, don't give up. Okay? Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. There will be love at the end of the tunnel. Okay? Do not... It says a leap of faith. Don't take a leap of faith, have it go bad, and then take a real leap off a mountain. Don't do that, okay? Love is at the end of your cards, okay? Love is in the beginning, love is at the end, all right? So don't give up on yourself, even if things don't go right the first or second, third time. Don't give up on yourself. It is there. Love, love, love. 
is there, okay? All right, I'm going to end this session today. Um, I just want to let you know, Fridays we will be going live, and I will be answering personal questions for you guys. Um, I, I want to start something new for you guys. Like I said, a lot of people want to know if I'm still going to be doing the EVPs. I want to. I really do. I cannot do it at the moment. Okay, I'm so drained. My body, my spirit, I'm just so drained. And I really have to take care of myself and my daughter now. Um, and with that being said, I'm trying to still give you guys your readings. Um, even though you're not hearing it physically, you're hearing it physically through my mouth. Because I'm still their vessel um, to relay their messages, okay? I see things here, and I elaborate. On the EVPs, I hear things here, and I elaborate, okay? So, it's the same thing. To see is to hear, to hear is to see. Um, and I just want to say I love you guys, and just thank you for being so patient with me. I, I have had so much, so much on my plate this last month, and it gets to me. It really does. And I've just been stagnant, and I apologize, you know. But sometimes I just need a break. I've been just going and going and going since I gave birth. And I really, even when I was sick in the ICU, I was still going. I wouldn't sleep just so I could watch my baby. I fought just so I can breastfeed and have her in ICU with me. Um, I mean, who does that, you know? And I just, I really needed this break. And I thank you guys for allowing me to have it and still loving me, <laughs> you know? So, all right, with that being said, Friday... I do, or we'll have a new deck Friday, but it probably won't be in time. It'll probably come later on in the evening. So, um, possibly Monday or Tuesday, I'll use the new deck and let you guys play around with those. Those are awesome. I have two more decks coming. I just think every deck has its own purpose, you know, and that's what I really like about these. Like these, I can answer your questions like this. Um, these right here. The Major Arcana. They are just like on point. All of these are on point. Okay. And then we have the Minor Arcana. But these are Earth, Wind, Fire, and Air. And that's more for the people with um, Zodiacs. Okay. I don't have to use it for Zodiacs, but I like to. So. And then like I said before, with these here, these are looking to secret societies. This is the first original one I got. And this is the one that really, really sticks with me. Because I want to know what the heck is going on with all these missing people. So, right here we have it. Alright, I'm going to end the session. Clean up a sec. Yes, baby. Hi. Are you saying hey, babes? Yeah. I love you. I love you. I love you so much. Oh. All right, mom's coming. All right, babes, I love you. I'm going to close up the session.